like to introduce you to my book, The Struggle and the Promise, Restoring India's Potential. In The Struggle and the Promise, I set my sights high for India as a potential leader of the world. I learned of this possibility from watching my father, Darius, at work. I saw him spending hours helping individuals in all walks of life perform better. Our social worker, carpenter, mason. He focused on the promise within each individual and did what he could to help them in their struggles. I'm trying to express this same sentiment in this book. I have a background as an industrialist, a sometime academic interested in innovation policy, past president of CI, and someone who enjoys engaging in public debate in our newspapers. As president of CI, I interacted often with government industry and leaders in India and around the world. I became convinced of India's unique potential, enough to lead the world. So what is this promise? Where does this potential that I speak about come from? It comes from things that we have now, which others find difficult to match. Our diverse culture, the plurality that defines us, is our strength. A young and aspirational population with parents willing to make great sacrifices to educate their children at high cost. A wide range of institutions. These are byproducts of our being a democracy. A diverse educational sector has given us a breadth and depth of human capital. And finally, a varied and entrepreneurial private sector. Our industry can deliver prosperity for all. Our promise comes from things we have now, things unique to us that cannot be learnt or bought. Our struggle comes from things we can learn from the success or failures of others. In the struggle and the promise, I address some important questions. How can we fix things by learning from best practice elsewhere? How can we ensure openness, inclusivity and innovation? What is the right balance of industry, institutions and policy? How can our culture deliver leadership? I hope you will find some of these answers to be convincing, but I hope even more that this will prompt wide discussion as you seek your own answers to these vital questions. We can then jointly craft India's future.